What's up, everyone? It is Yezamin Woodland, and welcome back to my channel. Happy Tuesday to everyone. I hope everyone is having a blessed day. Now, I have an update in this entire Janelle Evans, Barbara Evans, and Jace custody drama. Now, just to kind of recap, Janelle took to her social media stating that Jace was living with her now and custody with Jace was all good. And Barbara got upset and she took to TMZ to state that Janelle was lying. Now, since then, there has been more drama amongst them and Janelle took to her YouTube page and put out a video stating that not only did Barbara block Janelle like on her cell phone, but she also threatened to send Jace off to a boarding school. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and recap what Janelle said in regards to Jace living with her. And then we're going to get into the part where Janelle was explaining in her updated video that Barbara had threatened to send Jace to boarding school. Let's do a little PSA announcement. You're probably watching Teen Mom on Netflix right now as we speak. And if you are, good. That was the old me. That was the young me. The stupid me. The me that took risk. Now, let's not sit here 10 years later and come to my page and hate on me for my mistakes that I learned from. Let's not get caught up on the $200 you let me use to bail me out of jail. Let's not get caught up on the dumbass that I dated. I have custody of Jace. He lives with me now full time. My kids are happy. They're healthy. That's all that fucking matters. But I totally get it. I would hate me too if I was watching me. But if you catch up with me now, I'm doing a lot better, you guys. Peace, love, happiness, bitches. All right, everyone. So you all heard that recap of Janelle stating that Jace was living with her and all of her kids are fine and safe. Now, again, since then, Janelle took to her YouTube page and up uploaded a video stating that Barbara blocked her on her phone. Barbara is extremely angry and that Barbara actually threatened at one point to send Jace to a boarding school instead of giving over custody to Janelle. And Janelle was expressing how hurtful that was and she was just explaining a lot. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just play the audio of what she had to say. That's my son. I'm the fucking parent. If something goes wrong with Jace, he's going to come to my house. She's threatening, oh, if he's bad again, I'm going to send him to Christian school. If he's bad again, I'm going to send him to a boarding school. So you're going to send him to all these other locations, but you're not going to send him to my house? And then when you try it, and then I tell everybody that Jace lives with me, you just take it all back. What hurts the most is that this is my own mother doing this to me back and forth back and forth like this is why i haven't fought for jace a lot of you ask me all the time why don't you fight for jace why haven't you done it it's been 10 years because i think i can civilly get along with her and then when i get close enough and actually get him she takes him away from me again all right everyone so that is what janelle was saying in her video that's just a small snippet of what she was stating and again if you weren't really like understanding all this drama she was stating that barbara initially agreed that she would sign over custody of Jace and that Jace was on the land with Janelle for a temporary time period because of his behavioral issues and because of the fact that Barbara and Jace don't get along anymore. It's very toxic. Now, what I want to get into is the boarding school. So when I was listening to that video or watching that video that she posted and she mentioned that Barbara wanted to send Jace at one point to a boarding school because of his behavior, I kind of did a little bit of research and I, I knew background knowledge, but when it comes to boarding schools, the, the main um, portion of it is just to try to get the child to learn discipline, to focus on positive things such as goals, get their academics together so they can have more of a successful lifetime. And I know a lot of kids go to boarding school when their parents are just way too busy or if they're having behavioral issues because it's kind of like a boot camp. You know, the kids are supposed to kind of get whipped into shape, have manners and things like that. Now, I know boarding schools also have bad reputations as well. And I don't really know what Barbara is going to do here because at this point, 
everyone already knows what's going down. Everybody knows what Janelle said. It's all over the tabloids that Barbara stated that Janelle was lying. And then when Janelle takes to her YouTube page and does an explanation saying, hey, my mom initially said that no, Jace could live with me because he's like out of control. And then the moment the tabloids get wind of it, you want to retract what you said and you don't want to give Jace to me anymore just because the tabloids found out and TMZ found out. I personally think that this entire ordeal is disgusting, especially because they're our kids involved you have jace is the main person that's involved you have the other siblings like kaiser and marissa and Inslee. you have all these other kids that has connections to jace and with jace just constantly being in this turmoil in between these two for years it's always been the battle of barbara and janelle janelle and barbara and jace is always caught in the middle so i think this entire ordeal is sad and disgusting because you're putting jace in a position to where he he's having to choose his mother or his grandmother and that is reflecting on his behaviors because he's not behaving correctly he's lashing out he's having anger so it's like it's a recipe for disaster but i will definitely keep you all updated Please let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Subscribe to this channel and tap the bell beside it to get notifications on whenever I do upload if you are not subscribed yet. And until next time, see ya.